In this video, I want to introduce you to incidence matrices. Now, before we get started, uh, if you are looking in to these videos um, and you're not doing OCR, MEI, further maths, then there is a bit of a danger here that there is a bit of a communication breakdown between what an incidence matrix is depending on your exam board, depending on whether you're doing A-level further maths, depending on the textbook that you are reading. Um, unfortunately, there is a bit of ambiguity here and no uh, consensus on the topic, it appears. I have spoken with the exam board on this topic at length um, and their response was that because uh, it is ambiguous, there is nothing wrong with calling this matrix as I'm going to introduce an incidence matrix. Um, so you might come across adjacency matrices and incidence matrices. Um, so exam boards treat them differently um, and they have different meanings. Some might look at this and go, that's an adjacency matrix and not an incidence matrix. I'm not here to create an argument. Okay, I'm just going by what the exam board um, has told me. Okay, so this is what OCR, MEI, this exam board refers to as an incidence matrix. Okay, what it does is it shows the number of edges between each pair of vertices. Okay, so essentially a computer can easily make sense of this and it communicates the graph's structure. So when we look at uh, isomorphic matrices, sorry, isomorphic graphs in the next video, uh, essentially two isomorphic graphs should have the same incidence matrix. Okay, that's essentially what that means. So, a computer could make sense of this, whereas if I draw that, um, it would find it a bit more challenging. So, we're going to go through a couple of problems here. First of all, we're going to represent this graph using an incidence matrix. Okay, so what we need is A, B, C, D, E, F, G and A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So let's look at A. A is connected to itself via that loop. So there's actually one way that it's connected, going out that way, and the other way as well. So for any loop, we would write in that it is two. There are two connections there. Now, A is connected to B by one edge, so A is connected to B, but A is not directly uh, connected to any of the other vertices. So we'll put zeros for the rest of them. So 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So the good thing is that this is a symmetric matrix. Okay, so um, uh, once I've done one row, I can do the column. So if we look at B, B is connected to A, so B is connected to C by two separate edges, so by multiple edges there. It's not connected to itself, so we can put 0 there and 2 there. It's connected to D by one edge, but it's not directly connected to E, F or G. So 2, 1, 0, 0, 0. C is not connected to itself. It is connected to D by one edge but it's not connected to E, F, or G. So 1, 0, 0, 0. D is not connected to itself. It is connected to E by a single edge. OK. I haven't really drawn that bottom row very well, have I? Let's do something like that. OK, so then we've got E. Now, E is connected to itself via that loop, so we're going to put 2 in there. Uh, it is connected to F and G by single edges. OK, so we can write that. F is not connected to itself, and it's not connected to G. And G is not connected to itself either. And so this is the incidence matrix for this graph. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So we've got A, B, C, D, and E, and I need to draw the graph that accompanies it. So, A, B, 
C, D, and E. Well, let's run through this way. Okay, so um, A is not connected to itself. A is connected to B by one edge. A is connected to C by two edges. Okay, like so. A is connected to D by one edge. A is not connected to E. Okay, so we've done B connected to A. B is not connected to itself. B is not connected to C. B is connected to D and E. So we can go D and E. C is uh, twice connected to A, which we already have. It's not connected to B. It's twice connected to itself, so there is a loop on C. It's not connected to D, but it is connected to E. D is connected to A and B and no others. E is connected to B and C, which we've already done. But it is also connected to itself, so we can have a loop there as well. Okay, so that is the graph, or a graph at least, that represents this incidence matrix.